Hello there, everyone. Somehow it's gotten to be the end of the year again. I'm not quite sure how, but here we are regardless. December is a gray, rainy month in Western Oregon. It's a good time to be inside, making plans, reflecting on the past year, and nourishing yourself. Before the year ends, I'd like to sort through my stash one last time. At least every quarter, I get out all of my yarn, fabric, tools, all my supplies, and I go through all of it. For the yarn and fabric, this activity discourages pests like uh, carpet beetles and wool moss. They don't like light and they don't like being disturbed. So regularly sorting through all your fabric and yarn actually helps deter those pests. Thankfully, probably because I get into mine so often, I have never really had any problems with those nasty bugs. The majority of my fabric yardage has projects already planned for it. group of fabric is for um, my next series of projects that will be based on some 1940s wear, so rayon, um, lawn, and then a nice cotton twill. And then this hefty stack is for a World War I era project. This is a tea dyed cotton, some white lawn, an off white linen blend, corduroy. I'm still not quite 100% sure if I will be using this, but this is a bull denim. I actually used um, a little bit of it for my Swedish pocket project. These are both denims. One of them is for a skirt. One of them is for some 1940s pants. This is a quilting cotton. I will probably be making some stays out of this and this will be the fashion fabric layer. Black and white wall for lining whatever. Black cotton lawn, this is for a bra. And then this group is just my leftover scrappy bits, not exactly having a project for them, but there's enough yardage to make other things from them. So they're not sorted into my scrap bags, but they are in with my general fabric. Oh, the battery's gonna die. These fabrics are the ones that I have purchased that I don't exactly have a plan for yet. This one was actually um, a thrift store find, like the only fabric I've ever found at, at the local thrift store. I am jealous of the people with the nice tablecloths at their thrift stores. Not, not in this area. However, these are all linens. I think they're 5.3 ounces. This warm golden yellow, I am probably going to make the French cheesemaker smock out of it from Folkwear Patterns. This white, it's about, it's 45 inches wide and about a yard and a half. It's not, I haven't decided what to make with it. It's almost definitely going to be a top because of the smaller amount of yardage and it's going to have to either probably be a short sleeve or sleeveless. I haven't decided I need to look for my through my patterns for it. This is a twill weave looking light. This is a twill weave cotton lawn. It's really soft and light. I got that to make a top out of and I don't know what pattern for it yet. These two I am leaning Let's see, I think I have two yards each of these. I am leaning towards making bottoms with them. I'm not sure yet if I want to make like some summer shorts or skirts. I guess it depends on which one I want to iron more. 
but I need to look through my patterns and figure out what I am going to do with them. And you can probably tell that I like green and warm colors. <laughs> This is my pattern catalog. I try and shop these patterns first since I own them already. Next, I check all my various supplies. Do I have all the buttons I need for a specific project? What about ribbon or hooks and eyes? I do need to go through and do the really big job of going through my huge pile of scraps and getting them sorted out. One of the things that I would like to do, that's not gonna happen this year, but one of the things I would like to do is start making a Victorian style crazy quilt with a lot of my scraps. I think that would be fun and a great way to deal with them. However, there are a lot of different things that you can make with scraps besides quilts, and those are also great things to explore. I've linked to some projects in the description that you might be interested in if you, like me, have lots of scraps you wanna deal with. This bag has my smallest little bits or just fabric scraps that I really don't want to use again. These are things that could be chopped up and used for stuffing. Next we have my smallish scraps, medium scraps, and that over there, there's a bag under there. These are my big scraps and honestly, the sorting is like uh, whatever I feel like the size is. I'll be taking the last two weeks of 2021 off from any new videos to finish my planning and preparations for next year. This involves copious amounts of tea, hand cramps from writing, and a great deal of staring off into space. Currently, the plan for this channel in 2022 is to bring in more homesteading content. Essentially, I'd like to do four videos a month, basically one a week, two being about fibery stuff like weaving and sewing and two being food related like cooking and gardening. Obviously some months have more than four weeks so every now and then you will get bonus content. Do enjoy the rest of your year and I will see you again on January 2nd.